This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. The mail has come in. Baltimore here, and this time it's the Dark Pictures Anthologies, The Man of Madon, created by Supermassive Games and published by Bandai Namco. The same people who did uh, Until Dark, <coughs> which is another, which is a, uh, I, I, what do you call it? More of a, uh, like a point and click visual novel almost, or something like that, because it's, it's a QT, like, until Dark is like basically a horror game, but it's more of a, you know, look around, collect things, and then QTE, a bunch of stuff, and horror situations occur. Don't want to say too much. I played the game before, but maybe I'll save that for like a Christmas season, although I don't know why I'm playing this like way out of season. But it seems to be all these games recently I've been getting have been all super dark theme or horror based, even though it's not around the, the horror season, like how... <clears throat> like October or something like that, but hey, a game is a game, and I haven't played this one yet. I've only, I've only looked at the general reviews; seem to be generally positive, but it is along the same lines as <clears throat> Until Dawn. So I'll, I'll, I know I can expect some horror, or at least if not horror, some suspense things from this game. So uh, let's see how I uh, handle the situation here. All right, oh, did sure. Usually I read all this stuff, but most of it's like don't don't like copy the game we have the right to, to uh certain things you know usually most contracts like these aren't super too bad oh privacy policy this is the european one where uh, they you know you have the right to um ask for your info i forgot what law it's called but uh if uh, at least if you're in europe you can ask for them to not collect your data or they have to get permission stuff like that um Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, and this is to analyze your gameplay for the purposes of choices you make, as well as game tags and stuff like that. I'm not really a fan of that type of stuff, but unfortunately in this day and age seems to be a very common thing. You know, let's uh, probably have to turn up the brightness quite a bit, because it depends on where I am and where I'm sitting, but most time I can barely see anything. Um, that seems reasonable, because it says until I... <clears throat> Oh, it says that the left image has to be invisible. Gotcha. At least that's... Uh, okay. Might change that later on. Oh. Um, yeah, we can now... Obviously, I don't own this game. I'm just renting it. Um, yeah, basically, this game allows you to play with another person. Um, so it's supposed to... It's kind of similar to a game called... No, I think it's called No Way Out or A Way Out or something like that. It was another two-player game where you... On that one, I think you had to play online. Um, unfortunately, I'm already aware of that game and the twist in it. But uh, it seemed like a fun game. Maybe I'll play a single... Actually, I don't know if you can play that one. I don't think you can play that one single player. You can on this one, I know for sure. But the the pass is a one-time thing for those who don't have, like, um, the game or whatever. You can, uh, you can send it to them so they can play the game. Because this... From what I understand, this game has multiple characters in it. Like I said, I only read bits and pieces, just enough to like give me an idea of what I'm gonna be playing without like ruining any of the, the like the twist turns of the game. I uh, wonder what the settings are on this. If there's anything? Probably nothing pretty. Um, yeah, that'll be finally though. Brightness already did that. Got to do English. Maybe turn. I might turn down the music, maybe, because I've noticed in a lot of games I'm recording, I've noticed I've always I usually have to turn down the uh, uh, music slightly because of my when I talk and stuff like that. So I have to toggle certain things down slightly. You know, I'll leave subtitles because sometimes I can't hear stuff properly. Me and my bad ears. Uh, accessibility. This is probably for those who have a. Uh, um, oh yeah, you can disable. Well, you can disable the QTEs, huh? Or I guess you have... To, oh, timeout. So you got... Yeah, but if you still press the wrong button... Oh, I'll just leave it. Um, probably for the people that have, like, color issues and stuff like that. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. 
There's nothing really there. And then we've got this creepy man over here on the bookshelf. Is he going to tell me a story? What's the special features or anything? I mean, probably all of that will probably unlock at the very end or whatever. Hey, dude, how's it going? I'm here to bug you. How's it going? No, oh, then we can. I guess. <laughs> like, his fingers moving to, like. Looks like, uh. Okay, so we have to, like, basically play the game to unlock these scenes, so. Or the special. They're probably, like, how the scene's put together and all that other stuff, so that makes sense. Collectibles, and. I think in the. Until Dawn, which. No, wait, no, Until Dawn didn't really have collectibles. I think you could have a scene selector and stuff like that, or whatever, but. Looks like this game has a like a like a point and click adventure game. You can unlock certain things over the course of the game. One of the secrets, and I know until dawn had like different paths that would occur depending on what happened to certain characters. Like I said, I don't want to say too much, but let's just say the certain scenes can play differently, or you might not even get scenes if something happens. That type of thing. So um, we'll just do this by ourselves because I am forever alone. All right. Well, can't continue or anything like that. So, the Chinese market, the uh, Chinese market, China South Sea. Let's see what the man of a dawn. What type of story does he have to tell me? Why be able to uh, uh, put the characters in the right direction? Let's find out. Now, oh, come on. You you ruined my like. Let's get into the story by doing that. Come on. Have you ever heard of you know nuance and storytelling and 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 uh, ah whatever. Hopefully this game's loads aren't too bad. I mean, the game did download like 50 gigs of data onto my system. I don't know if it was straight up downloaded, but pulled a lot of memory, so better be worth it. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have any questions? Alright, looks like this game has a decision system, which... Uh... Okay, so... I think I think Until Dawn had something like that, too. Um, and I assume at certain parts of the game, from the looks of it, it's probably got... A, certain areas will have a timer, so we can either be... Curious, dubious, or say nothing. Hmm. You know, funny thing, if, if uh, one thing is, uh, I don't know how it works in this game, but in, um, in Telltale games, like, if you uh, pl if you choose to say nothing or blank out, it's kind of funny because it's it's so awkward. The game still goes on, but it's it, it, it the pause is just like, okay, let's continue on. So it says you have to use the right, okay. Uh, oh, so you can, oh. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, is he going to grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him. Okay, so what looks like what happened is when I uh, when I I didn't press the button, I just highlighted it and it grew, grew and then it chose. So basically, you don't have to put, you just have to highlight it for a few seconds. So and it looks like I, I've noticed that there's like a little heart thing and a little brain thing. So. Hmm. 
I wonder if those decisions mean thinking from the heart or from the head. That kind of makes sense. And then obviously if you choose uh, middle, maybe the game kind of makes a decision for you, but it's randomized maybe. But let's go with the brain in this case because we chose heart before, so swap it out a bit. Well, it kind of looks red to me, but what do I know? So, all right, hold. Uh, basically, I assume this is the tutorial. It'll basically, tell me how the game is going to be played later on. Uh, okay. And then we uh, choose the R button to flip it around. It's a dolphin or a shark or? Oh, no, wait, that's not a shark. Like a fish? It's. Oh, uh, what type? Of, I know what the type of fish is. I can't really. <sighs> it's not a shark. I'm trying to remember. It's like a snapper fish or something like that. Maybe I don't. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? No oh, traits of death. Okay. Um, by the way, I don't know how much I'm going to be talking through this game, because the game is very, from what I understand, this and Until Dawn are very story intensive, so, and out, and because of the way my recording setup uh, heads out is like, I might be delayed a bit in conversation, so sometimes I might talk in front of people if it's humorous, but I might let the game run at its own, we'll, we'll see how the game plays out, so, okay, so over the course of the game, I guess we have traits and stuff like that, so, hearing your fortune may be reckless, I guess, or insecure, maybe? Well, so I'm reckless, insecure, altruistic, and selfish. Do we have anything else? Okay, just the... Uh, huh, okay. I assume decisions change that over the course of the game, so... All right, back to the story. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fine. Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab... I'll give it a whirl. All right, it looks like there's combat, or maybe not combat per se. It's telling me how to like utilize situations over the course of the game, and you can tell they've really done their job on the mocap. Although it's not quite uncanny ter territory, but there are some times where they have some pretty wild expressions that make you go, "Whoa, calm down there." Okay, so we just have to anything with a little circle right there. We highlight and then press the button. So I guess there must be fight scenes in the in the game. How many we get, I guess, depends on their decisions, maybe. And how reactive I am with my controller and button pressing and some of that. Let me just say, I don't feel good. Oh, and there's a timer on this, so it depends on how much time. What happens if you fail? It just means you don't get it. Okay. Well, we'll see how well these guys survive with my skills, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully I don't do too bad and kill them all. Or whatever. I don't know. Oh, uh... Well, I don't want to spoil anything from Until Dawn, so I don't want to say anything more. Okay. So that's what happens if you fail. It's just kind of... Can you fail multiple times in this? Or is it just more of a tutorial so it'll never... It'll never... He'll never get... I, I assume he'll never get knocked out because it's... Um, it's just telling me how to play the game, so... How to play the game? Yeah. I get... Oh, now we have to actually... Play it. Ah, man, I suck. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. All right, where did my traits go? Now I'm selfish? I didn't choose anything, so I assumed that was just because he rushed it. Maybe because I failed that, that uh, game or whatever. Pull in two! Cargo hold two!
to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. You know, for when this game first started, I thought it was a, uh, I thought this was taking place during like the Korea War or something like that. But then it said World War II. I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, the Korea War and Vietnam War are like more. It's easier when you just do World War II. Everyone's like, everyone knows about that. But anyway, let's look around. Apparently, we're alone in the medical bay. Now, is that our son that that he was talking about during the fortune thing? Cute kid. Hopefully, he grows up with a dad. To pops, come home soon. Nothing bad is going to happen. Not after that cutscene. Nope. Mm -mm. Everything's got to be totally good. Yeah, I wonder what was in those crates. Kind of almost like the start of a horror movie where, you know, lightning wakes up the, the, the Frankenstein's monster or whatever, you know. What's in here? Whoa! What the hell? Oh, well, there's your 50 cents. You can pay your friend back now. How oh, do we have to? <laughs> I was going to actually grab the money, but no, we got to grab the key for some reason. Yeah, I admit the detail on these are pretty good. Like, not perfect, but pretty good. Don't know why I need the key and what happened to the dock, but something happened to him. Hmm. Almost looks like he had the. Poor guy. Well, it looks like he just died. It, it didn't look like he was stabbed or anything like that, so maybe asphyxiation or or something like that. I don't know. And his mouth's open, too. So he looked like he was screened. Maybe he screened before he died, too. Is that how we're going to get out? Uh, wait, why was it locked from the inside? I guess the doc didn't want anyone to come in or something like that. Huh. God, this guy looks such a, like a doofus. Like, Urgh. What's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. It's alright. It's not like me in real life looks that much better, but, you know. He kind of... I mean, then again, he did just wake up, saw this dead, the dead dock, and there's no one here. And this is a military play, a ship, right? So, you would think that there would be, like, a ton of people, like... Well, maybe not a ton, but a decent amount of people maybe walk around. Even at night, there's usually someone who's... <laughs> what's that again? Hey! Hey, what's that over there? Hey! Am I, in a, am I in a thriller movie or horror movie? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Whoa! Okay, anyway, sorry. I'll try to do, like, do a decent amount of exploring as well as uh, getting on with the plot. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Can we go back inside? No, we can't. All right. Because the game did say something about secrets. You could probably, like, um, uh, find, like, pictures and stuff like that over the course of the game or or extra scenes or something like that. Probably nothing that changes the story. Well, maybe depending on 
Because I think until dawn, it's something like that too, where you can, where you can, come on, highlight the thing. There we go. Where you can find stuff that would kind of give you backdrops to the story as well as improve certain character things, but for the most part, you didn't have to find that stuff. Let's see. Oh, it even says on the right what it is. Um, in the private, uh, in that private truck, wait. In that private, Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaged with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that the... Uh, for some reason, my screen has, like, on my TV, I can't see all the dialogue there. Like, for some reason, the, the screen is pushed out too far and it's blocking off some of the letters for some reason. I'll have to fix that in between episodes would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. So it's basically just us, because we were drunk and came in and all that other stuff. Surprised the other guy's like, hey, what are you doing? Don't we have a plot to get to? Whoa. Didn't that one guy notice this? His friend or whatever? Huh. It's like someone smashed our head in or something like that. Why is that still high? Can we actually end up opening that over the course of, the, like, after we mess around the ship? I mean, I can't do anything. Huh. But yeah, I'll try to I'll try to do a combination of like exploring as well, getting the story underway. Cause I doubt I'm gonna be talking through most of this. I'll probably talk through scenes like this where I have to like walk around. Is it going on? Is it going on? Sorry. <laughs> you still got the doofy. <laughs> Keep going. Press X in time with the heartbeat. I see. So you have to press it in between these two things right there. Huh. Okay, I gotcha. Man, me and my bad button pressing. Man, I just cannot, just cannot figure out how to do this right for the life of me. Man, yeah, better bear up my game, otherwise, uh, otherwise bad things are gonna happen to these people. If we could have gotten shot if we hadn't calm, stay calm. Was it the British saying, um, "Keep calm" or whatever from the Crown Royal bag, bag or whatever they, they're called? No, yeah. we've got plenty of game for me to improve my. Uh, what was that? Was that a kid? Huh? Why are kids running around a military vessel? I mean, it could be like a local, but I mean, if, if you do it right, I guess anyone could technically sneak in. So, Let's see what's over here. Let me open that. Hey, Charlie, help! Ah, uh, okay. Yep, it's still in tutorial mode, so. Me and my crappy button pressing. So what's down? Is that this is where the kid went down, right? Oh, so we can go down this way too, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Wait, how did the kid get through that? Looks well, like it's closed. Okay. Well, I think that just takes me back that way. So, what's over at this door? Is it gonna be the same thing? Nope. Okay, so we do have to bust that one door down. All right, I didn't see anything else to explore anyway, so let's try that again. Bust down that door, bust down that door. We gotta get on, bust down the door to get to the other part of the game. We're all gonna bust down the door, gonna press that X button, gonna get through the center. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Looks like someone's been shooting at this place. Like this guy got—you could tell by like, the blood splatter indicates that he's been shot. Well, other than obvious stuff, but man, what what happened here that caused the? It just did a like some of the locals come and attack this place, or hmm. mystery upon a mystery with a God history. Damn. another stick. Who's the lucky winner? Oh, 
Uh, oops, I, <laughs> I didn't know this would actually take me downstairs. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to look around, frankly. Okay, so we can't go. So we have to go down the stairs. Might as well check and see where this dude is. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Uh, wait, Rigor Morris is where he set in? Wow. Or maybe not Rigor... Because his fingers are in a clasp like and Maybe trying to grip something or something? I'm not sure. It's kind of looks like another... Maybe he had a heart attack or something. Because it's another situation where it looks like he's scared because his eyes are like looking at a direction his mouth is open which means he was screaming or something like that before he died i mean he could be breathing but usually if someone died while they're breathing their mouth is usually slightly open if they're screaming the mouth is usually going to be wide open so it's it's almost abrupt or something i'm not sure i mean i'm not a medical professional but there's certain clues or signs you can kind of pick up on without um without being something like that just if you're a medical profession you can have a bit more of a reasonable you know conclusion or whatever you want to call it okay so hold l1 to walk faster so <laughs> the game already knows that i want to like <laughs> want to move this game along a lot quicker <laughs> it's almost kind of silly when you think of like how um oh that's a door i thought that was like i thought that was a pain because of the way it was look at the way it's like oh no it's a great never mind it's a great a great great it's great that great great had something to do with its great great. So, uh. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Gren looks like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. Yeah, I'm getting a strange feeling too, just because we're. This military vessel's almost been. I used to know what foobar meant, but I'm. I'm trying to remember. It's military lingo, but. Foobar. I'll delete that up later. Unless there's a, <laughs> unless this game has a, glo a, a glossary section like some other games I've played where they tell you like, in the, like Will, uh, Will a Wonderful World where it randomly tells you like what things mean, but I doubt that. I had to look it up. <sighs> I know it has a... Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no? You feeling all right? Huh, Mr. Mr. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Um, but yeah, he probably saw. He probably just didn't have his head turned in the right direction. That's all. So, yeah, it looks like uh, everyone's everyone's did. Charlie, get over here. Crazy kid's got a knife! Shoot him!
Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? And they died. Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. 
I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Brad, what a dork. No, sorry. <laughs> One of the few times. He's innocent and witty? Oh, so pretty? Sorry, the one time I, I talk and it's just like, boom, out of nowhere. It's like, where the where the hell has he been? Alex, he's motivated. He's Brad's boy, the Julie's girlfriend. Insecure, like all boyfriends. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, bro, oh, wait. What was your name again? Uh, insecure, embarrassing. I have nothing to say. Well, anyway. Let's get this all loaded up. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. All right, Brad. Accusatory was invited. Uneasy, not good with people. I have nothing to say to you. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school, would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Oh, it's been two weeks. Must be rough. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Yeah, most people never know what to do. Oh, it looks like some decisions are really quick and then others are like, you have to give it some thought, go with your gut. Uh -huh. I wonder if you say nothing if you just leave it, like if you don't de decide. Hey! Julia, excited. Conrad's sister. Alex's girlfriend. He's relaxed. She's relaxed. Conrad, foolhardy. Julia's brother, also relaxed. Like all white people. Am I right? No, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep that to, to down low. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, I don't know about crack or cold one. Yeah, cool. I get see. <laughs> I get thee thick. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna see what happens if I don't do it. I assume it just does the say nothing option if I don't choose anything. Or is it randomly? Okay, it just does nothing. Brad. Bradley. Ray Bradleberry. 
There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Okay. I like how awkward it gets if you don't say anything, because it's just like, just one, I'll throw it. I'll throw up! <laughs> God, this guy's such a nerd. He's a man of my own heart. Yourself, Red Busters. Ain't stopping me, though. You ever do any diving before? Uh, let me just tell you now, viewers, it's going to be one of those playthroughs, so be pre prepared for that ride, so. Never all the time. Eh, I have nothing to say. Hey, don't look so worried. It's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Yeah, this is the old crust. Impatient, Fliss, Captain the Duke of Milan. Courageous! Like all sea captains. Yar. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Did we just jump on our ship without, like, giving uh, it a heads up or something? I think in the future I'm gonna to try to comment in between scenes if I can if I can help it because it's kind of weird not saying anything for like 20 30 oh I should have stopped by now we're probably playing a little bit longer so all right folks well I think this episode's gone a little bit longer than I expected but I felt it was right to at least get to the uh, the uh, and I forgot you can actually um, pause the game by like doing this so in the next episode the man of madon because i am not going to say the dark anthology every time uh we'll see like we've already seen those like people from world war ii die from whatever curse or creatures or whatever but how would these young kids deal with the situation because you know they're going to get involved somehow so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time